gentlemen welcome to this new year this is the year 2020 for you liberals it is going to be um, a wonderful year a new start for you liberals um, it is a year of energy so in this year you liberals are going to be having like a headway because you guys have been dealing with water energy for quite some time um, you guys were dealing with karmatic issues and the universe in this year for you liberals are going to be bringing in positive alignment of energies so liberals let's see what's coming out because 2020 is the year of uh, um, the fool it is the energy of uh, 2020 is the eye princess uh, and the energy of the fool so it's all about spirituality. It's all about the divine feminine energy that is coming in in this year. And you liberals are going to be affected because the, in this year you're going to be finding your true north. Being spiritual and balancing the material world. Okay. So let's see liberals what's coming out for you guys in this 12 year. Remember to pick up this extended reading to this year 2020, you have to become a member and join this channel to receive the extended reading of 2020. You have to um, um, join, become a member and uh, use the super extended and that's where you can pick up the extended of these reading so liberals a situation is finally coming to an end in the month of january whatever that you were going through um for a couple of years or uh, seven months five months nine months to a year um whatever you were going through um in 2019 um it's finally coming to an end in january this is the energy of an earth energy that is coming up for you liberals so in january what is going to be happening is that something finally is going to be ending a cycle is ending and you're about to begin a new cycle in this year and this is what i said to you liberals you have the energy of the fool that is helping you in this year ending things in january and bringing a new beginning in the month of february you have the energy of the devil that comes up negative forces negative situation coming in in february whatever this was all about i see an ending is coming in for some of you you could be using your ego in february you gotta be aware of what you're doing in the month of february we're going to be looking deeper it could be that you guys were ending a negative cycle in your life and february you're really eradicating that energy it's a fire energy in february in march you have bohor dalen and this energy of bohor dalen comes out in the energy of march because in february um the energy of the ego was there and then in march is coming before dalen so whatever it is you have earth fire and water and in march there is some before dalen that is going to be coming out so be um very alert um um liberals in this year because you're starting off this year where you're ending a cycle and in January, when the earth energy of the hurt comes in, where you're ending a cycle, they're saying to you, you need to start a new beginning and let go of the ego. Because in the month of March comes up emotion where information, some unexpectedness is going to come in March. We're going to be looking at that. 
as we move on and look at April April is looking good I see that all of you air energy or having a new start in the, the month of April this is the energy of the year and you're having a new start that is coming up in April whatever that is happening and transpire I see a cycle over in the first three months and you are going to be free and moving forward in the month of April April is your best month January and April as we look at May I see the energy of the star coming up in May whatever the issue and the situation is some of you could use your um, your egos to get a situation in the month of May be careful what you're doing because it can turn back so um, good energies because uh, I see you're going to be moving forward um, in this second quarter the month of June you have the energy of the lovers so some of you could be getting married some of you could be um, invited out uh, to a wedding um, but some of you could be getting married some of you could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate in the month of April for the extended reading go check out and join the channel to know exactly what is going to be coming up it is better to order a personalized reading for the year 2020 you can use the link below this video to find out so I see marriage is coming up in June whatever is transpiring your second quarter is going to be the best okay so whew. Ladies and gentlemen, air sign, air, a new start coming up for you in um, April. And that is so good. And in May, April, May, and June is going to be your best, best quarter and your best months. As we move forward, we're looking at the second quarter. We see the Empress coming up in the month of July this is all about abundance and love is coming in so some of you could be getting married in june or meeting your twin flame and soulmate i see abundance i see balance i see love materialistic possession is coming in in the month of july so june and july is looking good for you guys as we look at august we see transition is coming up in august whatever this situation is whatever this transition that is coming up it's a water sign um so we have earth and water in the squatel it is all about transition something is changing in your life so be aware of this because in the month of july you have the energy of earth and in the month of August, there is water and it's transition. Something is transpiring, changing in your life. As we look at the month of September, I see some of you could be using your energies or you're dealing with uh, um, parents' issue, father issues, so, or you're dealing with people in power or you yourself could be using your power in the month of uh, September be aware of this what is transpiring in the month of September because it's a fire energy so you have earth water and fire in the third quarter really remember this hurt what and fire some of you could be starting your business the best month to start your business is in the month of September as we move forward i see the hermit a water energy coming up in october this is where information light is going to be shedding on something whatever that is we are going to be looking at it to see what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be happening but this is a water energy in the month of october that is coming in this is emotion you're going to be finding out something in the month of october in the month of december we have another water energy this is the energy of the moon that is coming up in november so this quarter is looking as if it's a quarter of emotional situation things are coming out things you weren't aware of is coming out and this is going to be coming up in the last three months so emotion 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 in the month of uh, um, November 
the month of December, the energy of a tower moment come down in the month of December. Whatever that was transpiring, I see a tower moment is coming down. So whenever a tower moment is coming down, that means some deceptiveness, some secrets uh, is now out and this is coming to an end. So this is wonderful and this is positive because uh, whatever that was blocking you, whatever that was um, you know, stunter in your life. This is ending in the last three months of uh, um, the year 2020 because light is going to be shedding in October. November, the secret is going to be out. And December, whatever that is, is going to be moved away. And that is going to be good. For you guys, this is a year of uh, victoriously overcoming issues and situation. Some of you are going to be moving forward. Some of you could be relocating in this year. So it depends on who you are and whatever the energy vibration that is transpiring for you. But this is the energy that is coming up for you guys in this year. So this is wonderful. I see karmatic issue situation is going to be cleared up. Whatever issues and situation that was there, I see you ending karmas. I see you clearing out issues and situation. And what is happening and transpiring is that you are overcoming some issues in this year that you have been dealing with in other years. Okay. Please remember to see the extended. You have to become a member to the channel to see the extended. It is really a year that a lot is going to be happening for you, Librans. Um, you Librans help the other people to regain balance. So it is the energy of balance. Love is here in the month of uh, um, your best month is January, April, May, and June, July. As we look at August, uh, uh, September, it could be a situation where you, it could be good or bad. It depends. So we're going to be going in and checking out to see what exactly is going to be transpiring for the Libra and Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. All right, Librans, let's see January going in February. I see the King of Wands in the reverse. So whatever that has been transpiring, some of you is ending a situation with, uh, could be a father figure, with a business partner, with something that no longer serve you. I see you had an issue with this person or the situation and you're ending it. The cycle is over with this person in the month of January going in February. February going into March, I see some of you young people really using your egos. Be careful. I see you either you going after other people using your ego because I see some of you young people going after someone who has gotten you in some problem and you are really blazing going after this person and this is what is happening because i see that whoever this person is um this person has used their ego and got you in some serious problem and i see you blazing at this person end of february going into um march so you know that's what i said the ego is coming up and i see this coming where you're going to be really going after the person because you realize that whoever that person or situation is uh, that they have brought you in some deceptive place in your life as you look at the second quarter which is your most best quarter of this year i see you're finding out something about either a father figure or some businessman deceptive situation or um, someone that you were dealing with that is an Aries um, that you were dealing with. I see you finding out or whoever or whatever that was transpiring, you found out some secret about this person in the month of uh, uh, April going in May. And you're going to be very successful coming out of this. Love is coming in in the month of uh, 
May going in June. I see love coming in. This is wonderful. This is positive. Um, I see some of you might be getting um, married. I see love is offered to you. I see some of you meeting um, your twin flame or soulmates, but I see some of you getting connected with someone in love. So your month of love and the energy of Venus comes up in the month of June. As we look at the second half year, July going into August, I see the energy of the tower. So July going in August, I see the energy of the tower. Now there is the end to an issue or a situation, or there is the end that is coming into secrets, things that was held against you. Um, the tower moment is could be um the ending. You're selling a property, you're selling something, so you're ending something, something is leaving your life, someone is leaving your life. And this is going to be happening in the month of uh, um, the third quarter, July going in August. So as we look at August going in September, I see you standing your ground. August going into September, you're standing your ground. You're bringing changes in your life and standing your ground against people in power or people who are using their power are you could be the one that is using your power, standing your ground, and making sure that changes comes in, okay? So this is wonderful because I see that you guys are really bringing balance to other people in this year, and this is going to be good. What I'm seeing here in the last three months, which is oh, not so nice, you're going to be happy that the year is ending, is that you know that something came out something that you weren't seeing something that you weren't aware of it came out a secret something that was kept against you came out and you're seeing the truth and um so the tower moment had to come up before you could find out what was kept against you i see you having a strong foundation some of you a house or a stability a stability because this is the energy um this could be a work stability i see that some of you could have stand up for something at your work and in november you hear that your contract is not going to be extended so december you are going to be leaving that job or that company however it works out it could be that you're leaving a house um because you see something that was some deceptiveness and you were deciding let me let this go this no longer serves me let me let me let this go so the tower moment comes up twice in this year for you guys whatever is happening whatever is transpiring the tower moment is here in this year now the energy of the tower is that it is the number seven energies and what this is basically saying is that you need to let go of certain things in your life. You need to accept and let go of certain things in your life. So you have number four, um, number seven, and number 16. So you're working with number four, number seven, and number 16. Whatever that you have been dealing with, it has to do with some um some of you were dealing with um someone who is uh, um carrying low energy or it could be you but it could be that someone has gotten you um to do something and got you in some serious trouble and you're leaving this person behind because i see in the first quarter that some of you are screaming to this person said you know look what you have done you know how could you have done something like this but in the second quarter your best quarter i see that you're finding out something i see someone coming to rescue you from what has transpired but as we go in the third quarter i see something leaving your life where this could be 
some material things could be a car could be whatever it is it's leaving your life and you're still standing strong against whatever that has transpired then we see that you're seeing the truth because light is being shed on something in the month of october that you weren't aware of you're seeing the truth about a situation and i'm seeing that whatever that deceptive situation that was playing it is going to be living your life and this is so wonderful and so powerful so stand your grounds stand your grounds you liberals in this year because if you're going to be coming out of this year you know freeing yourself i see coming out of this year for some of you being victorious but coming out of you this year relocating moving coming out of this year being powerful standing your ground and moving forward and this is going to be good so remember again your numbers are four yeah four your numbers are four um four uh-huh um seven and sixteen four seven and sixteen your best quarter is april until july april until july so let's see what is happening in january january um there is coming to a, a, a end of a cycle with something you were doing whether a travel you could be at relocated and now you're returning home or you're moving forward to somewhere else a cycle has finished so you're moving forward okay so whatever is to happen it has to do with travel okay and a cycle is over with that so whatever that was happening and transpire i see a cycle over with that in january in february the energy of the ego i see you're going to be receiving some message and the message is like someone is is, is send you a message a screaming it's an egotic message but it's some not very positive news is coming in for you in february as we look at march i see um before daily um, um there is um jealousy um that is coming at you this is just full-pledged jealousy that's just coming up at you and um you you're being before dale jealousy at eight you know that sort of a thing that is coming for you in the month of march as we move forward and we are looking at the month of april and you start the end of a karmatic situation you got out of this nasty deceptive thing and you're moving forward in the month of april and that is good now the energy of the star may is a good month where there is changes you're getting rid of a, a person or a situation that as a new love is coming in i see your spirit guides are helping you in the month of may your spirit guides are there helping you in the month of may new love is coming in may going in june i see a friend some of you a friendship is a going to become a lover i see some of you could be marrying to your friends or some of you are going to be receiving love from a friend i see a friend is going to be connecting with you as a lover okay and that is the first half of the year as we look at the second half of the year we have the energy of the um your financial stability whatever is happening some thing you're going to be losing out something you could be changing a car but whatever is transpiring you're you you could be ending a karmatic relationship someone from a past life so you could be ending that in the month of uh, july and it's good it's positive you need to let go that karma now your luck comes in where there's a transformation and your luck comes in in um the month of uh, august in the month of august your luck comes in and it's as if things needed to leave your life so your luck could come in and that is what is coming in in the month of august in the month of uh, um september the end to people using their power um you could be ending a relationship where someone was um you know standing um 
blocking you and you're ending this because I see you dealing with people in power or it could be you. Some of you could be leaving a, um, um, a, a high position job and ending a situation and you're standing your ground because you see some injustice that has happened. I see love. You're finding out something in the month of October about um, the love of your life. You're finding out something about someone who you're in love with. Light is going to shed on this. Is it is in a good and a positive way? It depends on who you are because I see um, the truth is going to be coming out. You could be finding out that, you know, the love what are you looking for in love? Because it's as if you're seeing, because the two of swords is also here. So it's as if you finally realize who you want to be in a relationship, what you want to be in. I see some of you dealing with institutes and organizations, some secrets about an institute or organization that is going to be coming up in the month of November. You're dealing with issues, institutes, and organization in the month of November. Whatever that was playing, I see you're having long-term stability. I see that whatever that was affecting you, um, some of you could have a legal issue with institutes and organization, but I see some secrets with an institutes and organization, government institutes and organization. I see you stand up. You stood up against an injustice situation that happens in an institute organization or, and what is transpiring now is that you have a strong term. I see a child or a situation. It could be a child or a new start. The some of you, this is um, in December, something, there could be an accident. Okay. But whatever is happening, I see a child, whoever this child is, there could have been an accident. Whatever is transpiring, I see a child. A child comes up in the month of December for some of you. Okay, but it's, it's not looking good. But whatever the issue and the situation is, um, you know, you're not having regrets, whatever. And a child could end up in the hospital, but it's going to be good. I see a lot of situations. You've got to be um, careful in this year because what we're seeing is that there was some deceptive situation. It could be on your part or someone has done it, but you're going to be overcoming this, okay? And you have no regrets. So your year is going to be overcoming deceptive situations, sly situation. Work is going to be good. You're going to be successful at work. Uh, some of you are going to be overcoming a deceptive situation that was created in your life. And it's as if, yeah, you know, you you come out of this situation and you have no regrets. It could be a situation with work. I see with work, you're going to be very successful. Um, some of you could be receiving promotions with work. But I see it is more of a getting out of a situation that was created in your life. Okay. So, 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 O, O, M, G. So, uh, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a year. It's a year that you're making changes in your life. It is really a year that you're making a lot of changes in your life. And this is, 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 is going to be good um, because the changes that you're creating and making in your life, it's going to help your children in the future. And as if you have kids, you don't have to have kids, but it could be making changes for other people. So sometimes you basically find out something and then you're going to be realizing um, whatever the change is that happens and transpire uh, you know it's as if these changes was meant to be and this is going to be good it's as if these changes was meant to be and you're happily moving forward um with these changes so it is it is really wonderful and it's really positive so um accept the energies that is coming in let's see which animals is going to be 
um, let's see which animals is basically going to be um, you um, Librans is going to be working with okay I see a lot of luck I see the end to situations I see love coming in in this year go check out your extended reading and order a reading because then that will be a much better for you let's see what animals are going to be helping the Librans in this year what animals are going to be helping the Librans in this year so we have two animals um we have the energy of you having a reverse and we have the dragon so as i always said the dragon is um the circle means is an um from the universal is the dragon is from another planetary system the energy of the dragon comes out the circle means and um the energy okay so what is happening we have the energy of the dragon is the same energy that is on this book i love um the animal spirit guides book and the the circle of the dragon because i see the hyena is in the reverse now that is the energy from the water so i see the water energy is in reverse for you guys so we are going to be looking at the the water energies in the reverse for you guys and it's kind of weird so you guys need to use that energy and turn it in positive okay because that's the water energy when the water energy is in reverse it's that there's going to be a lot of emotions that is going to be going on for you Librans in this year a lot of emotions okay so it's the sense of uh, fire so because I wonder that cannot be water it's fire so humor witty and scared this is in the reverse okay so when it is in the reverse is that spooky um, petty and suspicious so some of your spooky uh, sus, um, petty and suspicious in this year in order to balance yourself you need to be sobriety stop drinking um, alcohol or drink water in this year to balance out yourself it is a fire energy your ear sign and it's kind of looking spooky for you guys in this year so um, that is the energy that you have to find balance okay then the other energy is uh, the energy from the universe okay and it is the energy of the dragons that you librans are carrying in this world let me see if i can get it yeah the energy of the dragon seeing one's most true self balance the ego seeing one's true self balance the ego now the dragon see everything it's ascent has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last it watches us na navigate us an external world as well as the internal world when dragon energy is awakened we are courageous visionary and can easily drop into wittiness and consciousness it is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, uh, deep into the uh, our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breeding transformation fire into every cell of our bodies witnessing this important transformation energy even for a brief moment alpha surrendering and let go we let the paragon guide us we up on its back for a ride and as we travel even the most difficult terrain the dragon eyes see beauty everywhere it is said that if a yoga does not see beauty in the world their agi, dimacy, 
against is. So it is powerful and I love the animal to, um, totem. It says describing the inner fire or sacred intelligence may even just the mention of the dragon stare, the embrace of intelligence with us. So, wow, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is the circle, the, the all-seeing eye, the energy of the dragon. And this is why I always said to people, always, always said to people, um, the I self is who we are as spiritual being. That's where the universe connects with us via the higher self. Okay. So, um, you know, sometimes people are, um, and like connect with your higher self to find out who you are as a spiritual being. And I guess this is what they're saying to you guys to connect with the higher self. Wow. So let's move on. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on and see what else is coming out. We see listening. It's a year of listening. Whatever is transpiring in this year, it's all about listening. Use the color black because you guys have the color black. Use the color black in order to find your true inner power in this year. We have the thinking woman is going to be your energy in this year. The thinking woman, it is when we go within to connect with our most higher self. And this is going to bring you liberance, a positive alignment of energy for this era that is going to be coming in. Then the angel of Atlantis is Archangel Raziel. Have a lot of rest. It's a, a time to dream in this world, to create your own reality. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, wow, it is wonderful. I want to say to each and every person, I love you all. In order to get the extended reading, you have to join the channel and choose for the super chat um, so that you can connect with universal angels. I want to say namaste until next time. Mm -hmm.